Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of The Dream Machine. Um, let's start off by loading my game. And yes, I finish as I start, I start as I finish, with Victor having erectile problems. So let's load our game, Victor can't get it up. If you recall, we were looking at this floorboard, and... Wait, what was he saying again? Ah, there are no lights here yet. He was basically saying that he can't get it up with his bare hands, which I think is hilarious. But now he's saying I can't pry it open with his bare hands, and this is where the clue system comes in. It subtly gives you clues. Like, if you want to pry something open, what would you use? You'd use a crowbar. Nah. And um, I'm going back to the Dream Machine rather than the Binding of Isaac, although I was really tempted to make a new video. The sound issues are being oddly off whenever I try and record the Binding of Isaac. That's because initially I used the trial of Camtasia Studios, and now I'm using Fraps to record it, which is a bit more difficult, especially considering... I have to minimize it and that reduces the sound quality. And um I would buy Camtasia, but it's like a hundred something quid. Jeez, that's not something a student like me has. Anyway, where were we? Hey Alicia, have you got any clues for me? Because I have no idea where I was. Oh yeah, take a look at this note. I think it might be a hoax. It sounds too good to be true otherwise. Like saying you'd read in a crime novel. You probably left us a present under the floorboards and wanted to rile us up before we bit before we found it. Um, nah, he probably did that himself to make it seem more mysterious. He seems to have made we can read the important parts at least. Either way, I think we should... Yep, I will do that, honey. Um, what was I supposed to do? I got the phone, and I phoned... Ah, I needed a number. There you go, here's the mail. Let's take a look at that. Um, open? Yep. Ah, a letter. Okay, now I'm going to examine a letter. Thank you for choosing Prosser and Ankvich. Our head office number is 555-497680. Okay, awesome. So we got the number for the phone, now we can phone them. Uh, Prosser and Ankvich. Prosser and Ankvich, how may I help you? Hi, uh, yeah, my name is Victor Neff. My wife and I just moved into an apartment, arranged by your company. Why, hello, Mr. Neff. What can I do for you? Um, I am trying to reach the caretaker. What kind of services do your company provide? Our main service is that of a retailer, but we also extend a bit of buy and stuff. So I keep going into my dramatic salesman voice. We basically connect people looking for apartments with people who have to set, uh, apartments to rent or sell. Why did I ask that question? <laughs> I'm trying to reach the caretaker. What's the address of the building? I'm sorry, I don't know. Oh. Uh, Surely I have it written on that letter, yeah? Um... No, I don't. Well, that's odd. So what's the address of the house? Is it in a coat? She wore it on her first day. Oh, what in there? Blankets. Alicia likes to keep warm. But yeah, basically, as I was saying, um, I've stopped doing Burning Rosak because of sound issues, and I will be going back to Botan Botan Botanicula, but for start, first, I want to get a few more of these videos up, because I'm really enjoying playing the Dream Machine, and I'm a bit miffed that I haven't managed to play it much, so I'm going to keep going. Hey, Alicia. No, I haven't. Um, do you know the address? No, it's slipped my mind. Oh, for God's sake, you two. Bloody useless. Come on, I want some of the good stuff to start happening. And you're faffing about forgetting addresses and everything. Alright, um, where will I find the address? Any of these boxes? Have I got it in my inventory anywhere? Letter pieces, baby oil, would the baby oil have it? Baby oil is surprisingly versatile. Hence you're carrying it around. Surely if Alicia caught that in your pocket, she'd be a bit... Hmm, why is my husband carrying around baby oil? Let's take a look in here. Pretty sure it won't be in here, but hey. Books, 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 books. Nope, nothing there. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this game and I really want to do more of it. Not much has happened so far, but I know stuff does happen, and it can get a lot more interesting, so... This is going to be great. It doesn't work. Okay. The view is very much nicer than old part the... I missed the nature, so I guess... They've moved somewhere more urban. Used to belong to my dad. It's really old, but it still runs perfectly. They don't build things like this anymore. Oh. A drain. Hello. An old ventilation grate. Cool. That doesn't answer my problem of what the address for the building is. No, it won't be on the guitar, will it? Hmm. 
Entry phone. Hello? Hello? I can't ring them again unless I know the address. Oh, wait, it'll be on the envelope. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, that's what I am. Ring, ring. Professor and Angry Chum, may I help you? Yeah, it's Victor Neff again. I have another question for you. Hello, Mr. Neff. How can I help you this time? They say while cringing. What's the address of the building? Dupont Quest. There's an old building behind the square, right? I think so. We're new in town, so we don't know where everything is just yet. Let's see here. I'm not finding any caretaker at that address. You wouldn't have to know the name, would you? I think it's Norton. No, Morton. Morton. Morton, you say? I'm pretty sure that's what he said. I have a Felix Morton here, but he's actually listed as your landlord, not the caretaker. That's why I couldn't find him. Would you like his number instead? Yeah, I suppose it must be the same guy. Then his number is 555647533. Oh, blimey. I click too fast. It's quite hard to keep up. That's great. Thanks for the help. Bye. Now do I call? Morden here. Hello, this is Victor Neff from the second floor, the couple you let in yesterday. Ah, hello, Mr. Neff. Are you settling in alright? Everything is fine, thanks, but I was just wondering when you'd be around to deliver the care spare key you mentioned last night. Oh, I'm sorry, I'd all but forgotten about that. <laughs> I figured you might have. I'll be right up. Alright, so he's coming up. So, I guess we wait. Look at that sexy man. Like his shirt. Is that a moustache? Or... I can't tell. Ah, oh, I forgot to tell Fraps to record the mouse. Ah, well, you can kind of assume where I'm going for now. Let's open the door. <laughs> sure thing, the movers can wait. Well, now I just have to wait for him. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> ah, there you go. Alright, fella. Creepy looking man. I can see what she means. Thanks. Yeah, everything seems fine. I'll know more when we had the chance to live here a bit longer. I've never actually moved house, funnily enough. I've come into my house at uni, but not really houses. I'm a bit what to call... Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, he's not the caretaker. I can see how that would be confusing. My family's owned this house for four generations. Apparently, the apartments I don't need and try and take care of the estate as best as I can. Making me the caretaker of the house and your landlord. Oh, how interesting. Uh, I'll just give you a call. Just ring the doorbell. I both live and work here. Live in your office? In the office is just the front room. My apartment spends further and you had me worried there. Um, that's all for now. If you can tell, I'm skipping through the com conversations a bit. Because if I listen to every single conversation, that's just kind of dreary a bit. It will go very slowly, but generally there wasn't anything important there, I know that much. Alright, now I'm going to go finally check in with the movers. And we've got a new setting, and... What's this? It's all barred off. Okay, that's confusing. And this one has a kind of a, an electricity switch next to it. Fire equipment. Oh, right, fire. Door's locked. I don't know why I'm just... I might as well knock on the door. I'll oh, ring the doorbell. Hello? Oh, it's an old lady. With blue hair and no eyes. Creepy as fuck. Why is everyone so creepy in this game? Uh, we just moved in across the hall from you. I thought I'd stop by and introduce myself. I'm Neff. I'm Neff Jeff. It's nice to meet you. And you're Edie Jones, the resident senior. Um, I'm just going to say this because it has fabulous in it. This is fabulous, I'm sorry. What do you expect from a house built on an Indian burial ground? Now that's just weird. What? Yeah, that's exactly what my reaction would be. I'm just joshing ya, Sean. Who says joshing anymore? Well, whole people, apparently. It's founded on bedrock, sturdy as can be. Well, <laughs> can bury someone here unless they got him run over by a steamroller. Did you say your name is Victor Neff? Like the actor? Like the actor, but he lived a bit before my time, though. Okay, so Victor Neff is named as the same name as an actor. That's, um, I guess that might come to relevance later. Ah, sorry about that, just having some coke. I've eaten way too much today. Ah. Nope, no relations to the actor. Never seen any of his movies either, to be honest. Ah, you're missing out then. He had a knack for playing brutes. He used to be a boxer, see, before he took up axing. And I assure you, our similarities end with our names. <laughs> you seem like such a polite young man, unlike the caretaker. 
Oh, so she doesn't like Mr. Morton. I quite like Mr. Morton. Um, you don't like him? How could I? He tried to get me evicted as soon as his father died. Well, that's not very nice at all. Well, that sheds him in a new light. He looked like a friendly old man. Although I can't trust this woman. She looks creepy as hell. Is that like a scar on her face that's leaking ink or blood? He lived here long enough to see him grow up. I know his father quite well. He was the caretaker prior to Felix, a wonderful man. Unfortunately, the apple fell far from the tree. Okay. Oh yeah, of course. See you later, Miss Jones. Call me Edie. Everyone does. I think you're in there, Jeff. You are in there. Alright, let's take the lift down to the other floor. But yeah, I aim to start on Bojanicula a bit more, but... No. I thought that might happen. I'm sorry to disturb you, Edie, but... The door jams. The door jams? The door jams! Grease product. I'll lend you some butter. Ah, okay. Now I'll use the... The baby oil, I guess. Yes, okay. Now use baby oil with yourself. I'm slick enough as it is. Ooh. <laughs> I wonder it has lots of replies like that. Yeah, use baby oil with fire equipment. That wouldn't make a good first impression on the neighbors <laughs> smearing baby oil over the doors. Oh, something I have to do. Come on. I think you know what I'm going to do. Alicia! <laughs> Hello, darling. Oh, that's awesome. Do I have anything else I could use on her? No, not really. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. From what I've heard, um, when they're making this game, is they had like a trial thing, like a demo on a website. And what they did was they examined all of the um, type of situations people used item in, like baby oil with Alicia, for example. The basement seems to require a key, huh? And, um... <laughs> oh, excuse me. And, um, basically, the more people use stuff on items, then... the more they'd add responses. Like, if a lot of people used a baby oil on Alicia, then they'd add, like, a funny response for people using baby oil on Alicia, simply enough. A uh, Edie Jones, William Murray, Selma Feed, Travis Brittle... I guess he was the previous tenant in our apartment. Morton Estates, Inc. Felix Morton. Okay, so those are all the people living in the house. And what the fuck is going on here? Are you Victor Neff? Yeah, that's me. Hey, nice to meet you. You got a sofa here, sir. Ready and delivered. So I'll just sign the receipt right here and leave it in your hands. Um... But it's blocking the entrance. If we deliver door to door like it says right here in a contact, and technically speaking, this service has been delivered to a door. Ah. Just as an extra service, I'd like to give you this complimentary crowbar. I'm sure a big guy like you will be able to pry that so for free in no time. Well, we've got a crowbar, that's great. <laughs> oh dear. So, how do you get out? <laughs> oh, so we can't leave the building. Sofa is blocking the entrance. Hmm. Tempting, but that would seriously hurt. Why was? Why is that tempting? This. There's no way I'll get this sofa free. Okay, so basically, as we can tell, he said that's permanently stuck. I don't think we're getting out of here in the entire game. In my opinion. In my humble opinion. So let's go and speak to what's his face. Oh, it's locked. Oh, um, can I use the baby oil on you? Oh, I haven't got the baby oil anymore. That's depressing. I want my baby oil back. Hello. Oh, that is a cool look. Ah, oh, look at that. That must like the clay figure for this must be so cool. Uh, key to his office. There's a stamp. There's an ink pad. Hello, Mr. Morton. Hello again, Mr. Neff. Do you require anything else? I'm afraid my Saitia problems... I have no idea what Saitia is. 
inhibit me from straining fibrillator. Can't the moving firm help you get it out? No, that's the problem in the first place. They just dumped it there. I see. I wish I could help you more. Alright, well, I guess I'm not getting any of that out. Um, your family owns the building. His great-grandfather owned it, and he keeps bringing it down. Can you tell me about the other inhabitants? Well, so I like your beard, mate. That's really, really triangly. It's a pretty quiet house, and that's the way I like it. Apart from me and you, there are three other inhabitants. Top floor is Mr. Muyu. He doesn't get out much. The fact he is disabled. Poor lad. Mrs. Feed is a night nurse. Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones. Which would be Edie. And she's very lucid, apparently. Which is probably because I'm going to spray baby oil all over her. Um, the patients would live in wards upstairs while they're undergoing treatments. I'm sorry, what? I must have missed something. Maybe this house was an old mental asylum or some kind. Um, nothing. I'm good for now, Mr. Morton, so let's get moving. And for some reason, my hand is over the AWSD keys. Let's go back to my room. I think I'm on the third floor. But then I, I might be on the second floor. Nope, I'm on the third floor. A mop and bucket. Maybe I can interact? Nope. Okay, guess not. This is my room, isn't it? Oh, I guess it's not my room. Uh, hello? Oh, I guess I'm on the second floor. I thought I was on the third floor. News to me. Ah, oh, well. I just pranked two people. Yeah, this is my floor. No muffin bucket. Alright, let's get moving. We've got some business to do. Alicia! I'm back, and with... Ah, oh, I've lost my baby all, haven't I? Maybe I can use the guitar on her. Alright, let's go use the crowbar on this, obviously. The crowbar snapped in half. Oh, it's not even metal. <laughs> oh dear. But we got the board up. Ne Neff has got it up, finally. And here we have a puzzle. Simple enough, really. Circuit goes here, and it goes all the way until this bit. And you have to make it so that the circuit goes through. And I think the circuit breakers do different things. The ones which have red on the one side make it go faster, and the white ones make it go slower, I think, but it might be the other way around. Does it decrease or increase the current? Um, fuck like I'd known enough. I guess the white ones increase it, and the red ones decrease it, so... I'm going to want this to go up here, through here, and through that white one, so like that. And it goes through the white one, and I don't want it to go through here, so... Something like that, and that would make it... Through here... Um, hang on, so... At the moment, this current is going this way... This way, and this way. Um, sorry, this is a very confusing puzzle. This might take some time. Uh, so this is going this way, this is going this way, this is going this way. Uh, hmm. <laughs> uh, I might have to be quiet for this for a bit. It might get, might get boring. Alright, um... If you get bored of this, just skip ahead for a bit. Alright, so... There you go. Done! Alright, that seems to have overloaded the fuse. Um, it's probably designed to blow before anything else could happen. Maybe I can bypass it somehow. So I guess I'm going to have to replace that fuse. Let's take it. Fuse is useless now. What can I use that's metal? Uh -huh. That seems to have been too much power for the machine to handle. Completely burnt out. So what did it operate? What was the point of that machine? Ooh. <gasps> what was that? Yeah, what is that? I'm not sure. It's a camera. So what is it? It looks like a surveillance camera. 
There's a hidden compartment combined with a hint. I think that's the most rational answer. A camera? You mean someone was peeping on us while we slept? It certainly seems that way, but who would do such a thing? I don't know. Okay, it could be one of the neighbours. Morden is my prime suspect, or the previous tenant. Maybe he taped his sexual conquests. <laughs> um, well, one of the neighbours wouldn't have access to the apartment. The previous tenant was the one who led us here. So Mr. Morton is the one who seems the most likely. I told you, I got a creepy vibe from that guy. And if it was Mr. Morton, that means he found a note left by the previous tenant and tried to destroy it. It all makes sense. Some perverted fantasy he's trying to fulfill. I feel so violated. Um, I want to go down and beat the shit out of him. He's an old man. Um, yeah, I think that seems more rational. I want to make sure he doesn't get away with this. Okay, she's off to call the police, but there's a sofa in a way, so they won't be getting in anytime soon. <laughs> Alright, let's go down and see Mr. Morton. Let's see how that old lad is doing. Alright, um, is there anything else I need? I don't think so. You alright, Alicia? This will probably take a while. <laughs> Why would the police put you on hold? Seriously. But yeah, as I was saying... Botanicula is going to be on hold. No, Botanicula is going to be done when I'm bored of doing the machine a bit. <laughs> um, Binding of Isaac is going to be on hold until I can sort out the sound issues. And there's going to be a lot more Dream Machine with any luck. Which I hope you all are fine with because I enjoy the Dream Machine. And he's closed the window. That's mysterious. Uh, let's raise it. It's locked from within. So let's smash it. This must be the key to Mr. Orton's office. My hand is too thick to reach it. Do I have anything that isn't too thick to reach it? No, then I guess I'm going to have to leave for the moment. God damn it. But I can hear him moving in there. Yeah, I'm going to have to get in there quick. Is there anything in the lobby I can use? Um, a coat hanger. I can put it under the door, under the window, and get the key. That's perfect. I'm going to get you, you bitch. Peeping on my wife. And we got his key. Alright, time to... Time to go and get Mr. Morton. Mr. Morton, I know you're in here. We found your camera. My wife's upstairs calling the police. And you are done for, mate. Chapter 2. Okay, well since there's no title, and I'm going to end this video here. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. So, goodbye.